Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Bismarck Shields, and we are here to honor Lonnie Grabowska for our next Shields Hometown Hero. Welcome to Shields Hometown Heroes. Shields Hometown Heroes is a way for us to say thanks to those that serve our country and our community. And they're still giving back to others today. We honor your service by sharing your stories. From all of us at Shields, thank you for your service. today and Lonnie as all of us here at Shields we would like to honor you this year as our Shields hometown hero so thank you for thank all you. you do in our community along with your service and we appreciate that thank you so much man. I appreciate you're that. welcome thank you so much. Uh, I met Lonnie years ago. Um, he actually volunteered to be the chaplain uh, with the Bismarck Fire Department and helping uh, the crews and helping the members of the fire department through stressful situations. There's no words to explain his character. He's unbelievable. Um, one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life and uh, somebody that generally cares for everybody. To me, he's the epitome of a leader. I mean, he's always he's selfless. You know, the word I always do is selfless because he's always thinking about everybody else. You know, you look at his law enforcement, he's out there to protect people. I mean, he's a deacon for a reason. He understands that. He understands the compassion, but he's also um, the protector. I mean, that's what he does. He's, that's why he's in law enforcement. I think it's the brotherhood, and I want to protect the community. He's the bar that I look at, you know, that I want to be as a father, as a husband, as a man. I would say around eighth or ninth grade, I felt this kind of calling to that. I just knew I was going to go into the military. And then dad had been in the army. I said, hey, dad, I'm going to go look at the military. And he goes, OK, and that's fine. And go in and talk to him, talk to the recruiter, but don't sign anything to church. So I went into the Navy, uh, and signed up. And I came home and I said, yeah, daddy, I need you to sign this. He's like, why am I signing that? I said, I joined, I joined the uh, Navy. He's like, all right, great. Well, he was, he was, uh kind of rambunctious, but he always wanted to progress or, or do something. He wasn't just satisfied with every day-to-day -day thing. He's always been a go-getter, you know, and he knew what he wanted, and um, he just simply went after it. For, uh, so I was in the Navy for four years, um, and three of it on the submarine, and the longest we went without coming up was probably about 91 days. So I was lucky enough to be one of the boat drivers during battle stations. Some of those missions took us into areas that, uh, that got a little hairy. When I got out of, of the Navy, I decided to go into the fire service where I wanted to do dive team, some type of dive team, because I was a diver in the Navy too. And so I thought, um, I'll, I'll do one of those two. So I kind of told myself, whatever gets an air tank on me first, either the fire department, or a dive team with a sheriff's office or something, that's what I want to do. Applied for the Morton County Sheriff's Office. And lucky enough, I got on the on the dive team with them then. So I kind of satisfied that need to have that uh, tank on my back, I guess. It was a weird thing for me. But went to Mandan Police Department, went through the academy, uh, joined the SWAT team then, stayed on the dive team for, for a bit with them yet, but then got off that to, to concentrate on SWAT team. Um, and then I did three years, four years on the streets, and then went to investigation. And when I was in investigations, I found, I think, my uh, niche, my, my kind of ultimate calling in law enforcement. I felt uh, very drawn to the investigative side. I liked the narcotics investigations, and I really enjoyed just a full investigation. So about 2011, I became deputy director, and then I uh, became director in 18. I'm the director of BCI, you know, so I'm the uh, director of the Bureau of Criminal Investigation. He works hard. He's sincere. Uh, 
He's a guy that what you see is what you get. He's fair, honest. I guess I'd have to uh, just say how proud we are of him and what he has achieved. My biggest advice to anybody I would offer is you need to take care of your family. They are the root of everything and have a faith base because those two combined, a strong family and a faith base, are what gets you through the long, hard days. That's in the military, that's in law enforcement, that's in any job. You see so many people right now crumbling because they don't have any, any, any basis to turn to. When you know you've always got somebody there caring for you through your faith or through your family, it just carries you through the hard days.